Okay then, for our start today's Retrobat and Casio PV1000 setup guide for Windows PC. If you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it really helps out my channel too, which I really appreciate. So what is a Casio PV1000? It was a home console by Casio. It released back in 1983 and it discontinued continued in 1984 so obviously it didn't catch the audience's attention but anyways we're going to get you onto this today how do we do it so we got 15 games in total for the casio pb1000 literally 15 games was released for it your games can be in dot zip or you can loosely put them into your roms folder in dot bin either way they're going to work just fine so i'm going to just make a copy of my PV1000 games, head into the retro back directory, right click on the shortcut, open file location. We're going to go into the ROMs folder just here, and if we scroll downwards, we're going to find PV1000. And here it is. So your games, just remember, need to be in either .zip or .bin, and they're going to work fine. So what we're going to do is head into retro back. Okay, so we're inside Retrobat. Now, you're not going to find PV1000. They're actually going to generate a folder within Retrobat known as Mess. If we just go into Mess, here's the games. What we need to do is just come out of here. And what I'm going to do is open up main menu by pressing my start button. Down to game collection settings. Systems displayed. What I'm going to do is uncheck Mess. Just so it's not got the tick on there. If I press my B controller on my Xbox controller to come out we should then see Casio PV1000 appear which looks a lot nicer I think than mess so let's go ahead and scrape some artwork I'm gonna press my start button go down to scraper scraper settings I'm gonna just make sure all of these are how I want them to be and also remember to sign in so you can use screen scraper for this systems included I'm gonna just make sure PV1000 is selected and then just simply go down to scrape now Okie doke, so we're going to go up to game settings, update game list, and yes. And here we go then, so we got a lovely set of artwork for these games I've got. So as you can see, the Casio PB1000 are very typical games of its time, very arcade-like games. So, for example, we got Cobra, which is a kid I used to play on my parents' Atari 2600. If I press my select button, view options, advanced system options... Emulator, we got choice of Libretto Retro Arch Main as well as Main 64. I'm going to leave this to Auto, which is going to select the next option down, which is Libretto Main. We got the usual things here, such as Shader Set, but let's actually just open up one of these games. Let's go for Cobra. So we're very similar to Scramble. Okay, so let's check the next one out. We're going to go for this one here, which is a fairly popular game. So 
So, yeah, not too good at that one. We've got Warp Warp. Who needs to share his core duty when we got Warp Warp? We've got the awesome Dig Dug. We got Dirt Chameleon. And we also got a standard view Hong game just here, which I'm not going to bother with. So let's look at those video settings. If I press the select button down to advanced system options from here, for an old school look, we can go to curvature. That's going to look pretty cool. Decorations, I can put this to something like arcades, 1980s, if I wanted to. Let's check this out. So we're going to go for Naughty Boy this time. And I truly have no idea what to do with Naughty Boy.
that's it for today's retro bat and casio pv1000 setup guide from windows pc so if you like what you see today hit notifications subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content and just below in the comments i'm going to leave a couple of links to my retro bat playlist there's going to be two there one for system setups is where was a help and general information video playlist very awesome stuff so anyways join me on social media i'm on facebook instagram twitter and tiktok but until next time stay retro